championship belt. And that is what she is. She's class, she's exciting, and everybody adores watching her. What an addition she is. Let's turn that down. So I'm sitting here looking at the rankings and you know getting ready for like the post fight video to talk about okay who's katie taylor's you know next rival or who is her rival who she should be fighting after she fights uh cindy cindy serrano okay first let me digress right now july the 28th 2018 4 10 p.m eastern standard time over in the uk it's about 9 10 or so um um as this is a real-time video so Katie Taylor went on to defend her two belts against um, Kimberly Connor from the U.S. From where's she from? Um, she's from Texas with a stoppage, her first stoppage in several fights, right? Correct? See if we can give you a little brief, little brief, little. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. That's it. Sky Sports has been on my ass, all right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would love to give you a little, a little more, but I just can't. I can't. I can't, but you're going to have to go on to the uh, social media and see it for yourself. So women's, the women's boxing right now is in a bit of a tough place because it's, it's, it's being promoted in, 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 in a way it hasn't been promoted of this era in, in regards to social media, in regards to getting these fights televised. For example, Katie Taylor's fights are always, you're always able to watch her fights, especially here in the States. You'll be able to watch them on the zone. Over in the UK, you're always able to watch them on Sky Sports box office or on Sky Sports. Whether it's pay-per-view or not, you have access to her fights. Over here in the States, we have access to Clarissa Shields' fights. But there's certain fighters, for example, you know, like the rivals of these uh, uh, women, you know, for them to get big money fights and for them to get on cards where they can headline themselves and, and, and be strong cards it's not enough building up of the rivals so it's a, it's a shame that you know the katie taylor's the uh, cecilia brockes's the um christina hammers you know the um uh heather hardy's you know the salitos um uh, way and you know katie taylor it's a shame that these women they are the pioneers right now for televised women boxing in the future but by time women's boxing is really like defined where it, it, it should be and it's a free-flowing sport as of its own then as it stands right now you know the it, it's they don't have any rivals right now you know in the future like i see really really good things for uh, women's boxing for example if you go look at the rankings of these organizations you know there's nothing like there you know where you can say oh i know her because i saw her fight on such and such nah a lot of times there's many fighters missing from the rankings where be hunting down the WBC and WBO holders in Delphine, Pearson, and Rose. We gotta talk about her. She wants to be the unified champion and she wants to do it quickly. Back in Chicago, October the sixth, against Cindy Serrano, already inked in. And there are huge nights ahead for the thirty two year old Irish star. She's done her bit. Can Britain's Dillian White do his? The Need that. Snap. I'm going to go watch some fights on her. It's from Germany. Delphine, Delphine uh, Pursun. 33 years old. Let's go. Let, let's zoom in. Let's go uh, full screen. We got to go watch some fights on her because this is an impressive for women's boxing to have 16 KOs. Now, even though you may say, well, who's she been knocking out? Like you would say if it was male boxing, but it's different with, women bo with women's boxing. To have 16 KOs is impressive. That means you're like, in women's boxing, that means you're a powerhouse. And then with all this, we, we got to go look at her soon. Oh, shit. My bad. Hold up. Well, I know it was important for me to stop my tardy early on. Um, I just happened to catch what I got you and I stay composed and I, I got to go finish in the end. We thought that that eye might swell a bit more and it might cause you problems. How did it happen and it, did it affect you at all? No, I knew I had a bit of a bump underneath my eye, but it wasn't going to affect me. I don't know how I got it really. I, I think it might have been a punch, but so I'm glad I finished it early. <laughs> Do you stay on course for the dream, which is obviously to become undisputed? 
Yeah, absolutely. That's always been the plan. Um, like I said before, I've got two bouts and two more to go. But next is the 6th of October against Cindy Serrano. I can start focusing on that fight now. And I can't wait for that. It's another big fight for me. Everybody knows how dedicated you are, but was there anything niggling away in the back of your head, you know, with another fight already announced? Uh, not really. I was completely focused on this fight right, uh, right from the get-go. I wasn't focusing on Cindy Serrano at all. Um, I, I knew I had, to, I had a job to do here tonight. I knew Kimberly was a hungry challenger and I knew she was here to win, so I had to be sharp right from the start. Do you feel, still feel that you're improving and how much do you think we've seen of, of Katie Taylor? Yeah, I'm definitely improving all the time, even uh, to finish here in the end. I think right before I would have rushed myself and, and tried to get in there, but um, I, I stayed well composed today. Um, I'm improving all the time. I've got a great team of people around me. I feel, as I said before, in the best shape of my life, in the best form of my life, and, and getting better and better in each fight. Your manager, Brian Peters, told us on our podcast that he wants super fights for you. So, you're not the sort of person to call people out, but do you want to send a message to the champions? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I'd love to get Delphine for soon, the WBO champion. I'd love to fight... At, Rose Valente. Yeah, exactly. I'd love to fight Amanda Serrano sometime. Cecilia Bracus, all those great girls that I, I want. Let's have a quick word with your promoter, Eddie Hearn. Delphine Persoon for the WBC, Rose Valente for the WBO. I know there's politics and mandatory, etc. but do you think that you can take Katie to the Undisputed Championship? Yeah, it's hard to get him to fight her. You know, she's vicious. Um, it's brilliant to bring her back to the UK, to the O2. Great reception for her tonight. She's a worldwide star. She'll be boxing in the US next against Cindy Serrano. That's a really tough fight, but I'd like to see her get all the belts. She's going to take a lot of stopping. I think eventually we're going to have to move up weights to find some real competition because right now she's at the top of the game. Joy to watch. I think one of the biggest stars in the whole sport. Forget women's boxing, men's boxing, just one of the biggest stars in the sport. Congratulations. Well done. Rose Vellante is the um, WBO, um, her right here, 13 and 0, WBO champion. She is from Brazil. So we got some, we got some, before we do our next Katie Taylor video, we got some research to do. We got to hunt down her, her footage. We got to hunt it down. We even got to go to the dark web. Don't ever go to the dark web. Don't go to the dark web. You know, don't, don't go to the dark web. Take my word for it. Um, and we got to look up uh, Delphine Persoon's fights. I know this name and I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out what cards can I associate her with? Because you know how sometimes you'll be like sitting home or you'll be watching these cards be waiting for the main event or it be on in the background and you just like, I don't know. I, I know this name. I'm trying to figure if I've ever seen her fight it before. I'm glad that she mentioned um, Cecilia Brock is a uh, 154 pound, 147 pound, you know, um, unified undisputed champion. She right now is in a situation where if she fights Layla McCarter at 147, she has no more reason to stay there and possibly could meet, possibly could meet um, Clarissa Shields at 154 if they can get, if Clarissa Shields can get that low. And if Cecilia Brockes would want to move to 154, which I believe she could, you know? And that would be like a women's boxing super fight. But in regards to Katie Taylor, you know, she did mention Amanda Serrano, who's been fighting, you know, at um, 126, you know, 130. She's the sister of uh, Cindy Serrano. Cindy Serrano. Here, let's go look at her. Let's go look at her. Um, this is uh, Katie Taylor's next opponent who she's going to be fighting. Who she's going to be fighting um, in Chicago. Twenty-seven, five, and three, ten KO. She's never been stopped, and that one thirty, you know, um, one one thirty, one thirty-five division is her natural division. You would say she even. This is gonna be a good fight, you know. Katie, Katie Taylor's got a nice, you know, you know. I mean, I, I guess if, if you know the landscape of women's boxing and you know these um, names, then you would be saying to yourself, like, yo. Katie Taylor, you know, and these women have a nice, you know, chance to finally get, you know, some uh, recognition because Cindy Serrano is going to be a tough fight for her. Then, you know, if she goes after, uh, we, we got we got to really, really look at Delphine Pursuit and we really got to look at um, Rose Volante because we don't we don't have enough data right now, or at least I don't, to, you know, like understand like what type of, you know, like threat they could possibly be. Now, 
140, the 140 pound women's division. I know, you know, this video is running a little long. The 140 pound women's division, you know, it's scattered all about, you know, the world, mostly, you know, um, Argentine and, you know, Spanish speaking countries, Argentina and Spanish speaking countries, but there's not really any real known names there as of yet that are coming up. But 147, if she was to really, really take 147, remember she is at 135 right now. There would be two divisions at 147, you know, if she was to fight Cecilia Brockes. That's a big money fight right there. And if they were to do it, you know, in some something in 2019, because I think it would have to happen in 2019, late 2019 or something like that, then it would be Katie Taylor jumping up two divisions to fight the undisputed 147-pound uh, women's champion of the world. So, you know, I mean, you know, we, we can talk all day about it, but we got to get to the um, other cards on the um, other fights on the card. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.